Hi, I'm Mark Ryder. Ah, you're the new marketing director. That's right. I'm Nicole Delacroix. I'm Ali's personal assistant. Welcome to Paris. Thank you. I'll just tell Ali you're here. Ali, Mark Ryder's here. Okay. You're from San Francisco, aren't you? Yes, I am. Hello, Mark. Ali, it's good to see you again. How are you? Very well. Did you have a good journey? Yes, fine, no problems. Let me introduce you to the team. You've met Nicole, my personal assistant. Yes, we've said hello. This is Jacques Lemaitre, our PR director. Uh, how do you do? Mark Ryder, how do you do? And this is Ben Watts, our designer. Hi, Mark. Great to meet you, Ben. We've heard a lot about you. Really? All good, I hope. Okay. Should we go to my office? What a lovely view. The river's beautiful, isn't it? Paris is so romantic. I can't believe we're here together at last. Yes, it's weird. Weird? It's wonderful. I really missed you. Me too. Why don't we sit down? So, did you like the office? Yes, it's great. How do you get on with everyone? Okay, but we'll see. I've only been here three weeks. What did you think of them? Oh, I thought Jacques was very nice. And Nicole? What about Nicole? She was very friendly. You know, we have to keep things a secret. What things? You know, us. Our relationship. I don't want the people in the office to know we're together. No, of course not. But it isn't going to be easy. No, it isn't. How's the hotel? Well, it's okay, I guess. But it's not like having my own place. I have to find an apartment. Don't worry, it won't take you long. What are you thinking? Do you really want to know? I was wondering what kind of boss you'll be. Well, you'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Mark, would you mind sending me those concert dates? Of course not. Ben, are you busy? Me? <laughs> Never. Could you help me? I can't open this document. Sure. Thanks. Hi, Nicole. Could you sign these, please? Sure. Is it okay if I take tomorrow afternoon off? I'm sorry, but tomorrow's really difficult. What about Friday afternoon? Friday? That's fine. Do you think you could send me the request by email? Uh, yes, of course. Hello? Hi, Mark. Could you hold a moment, Mark? Thank you, Nicole. Can you come and see me when you have a moment? Have you started looking for an apartment? No, I haven't had time yet. Anyway, it's best to get to know Paris first. Yeah, it's a big city. Huh? Merci. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Oh, very good, Marc. Thanks. That's nearly all the French I know. <laughs> Hi, Beatrice. Yeah, uh, just a minute. Sorry. How would you like the office? Oh, it's great. And the people? Really friendly. I like Ben a lot. He's amazing with computers. Mm. And Jacques's a really nice guy. Oh, Jacques, he's very charming. Everybody likes him. And he has a lovely wife. She used to be a pop star when she was young. Have you heard of Isabelle? No, I'm sorry I haven't. She's very pretty. Ali is very attractive, too. Ali? Uh, yeah, I guess. Although her clothes are very English. And she's very formal. You know, today I asked her if I could have a day off, and she wanted me to send her an email. Well, the English have their funny ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Ali. Hi. Ali, hi, let me get you a drink. Thanks. I'll have a Diet Coke.
Where exactly is it? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Okay. How far is it? Okay. Okay. Merci. Au revoir. Any luck? I think I found an apartment. How do I get to Belleville? The easiest way is to get the metro at Pyramids. Take line 14 and change at Châtelet. Okay. Then take line 11 towards Meride Lila. Where do I get off? At Belleville. And how many stops is it? Six, I think. Oh, right. I found it on the map. How long does it take to get there? About half an hour. Have you found a flat? Yeah, in Belleville this time. Oh, when are you going to see it? This afternoon. If you can wait till six, I'll give you a lift. I live near Belleville, so I'm driving that way. That's great. Thanks. Thank you. This is the apartment. Uh, je vous laisse visiter. Je serai en bas. Merci, madame. Sorry, Nicole. What did she say? She said we can have a look at the flat. She's going to wait downstairs. Thanks. So what do you think? Mm, it's a long way from the station. And it's on the fourth floor. It's a pity there isn't a lift. Who needs one? The stairs are good exercise. Look, there's a great view from here. It's also very noisy. Sure, but it has character. It's just how I imagine an apartment in Paris. Everything's old, including the heating. It will be very cold in the winter. Oh, hi. Well, what's it like? Nice, really Parisian. Are you going to take it? I think so, yeah. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Are you okay? Are you on your own? No, I'm with the woman who owns the apartment. I'll call you back. Okay. Speak later. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Sorry about that. That was... that was my... my daughter. Calling from America? You know, she's just taking an interest. Mm, taking an interest. That's nice. I got a message this morning. It's from Jacques. Ali, it's Jacques. I'm in Rome. My return flight's been cancelled. There's a small problem. Scarlett Scarpino is in Paris for her concert this evening. I was going to look after her today. Could you possibly take care of her? Thank you. And see you later. You've met Scarlett Scarpino, haven't you, Ben? The punk princess. Yeah, I met her in London last year. What's she like? Let's say she's a bit difficult. What are we going to do with her? Why don't you show her around Paris? I have a better idea. Why don't you show her around Paris? What, me? I'm new here. You can't leave me to do this on my own. Okay, why don't we take her to Notre Dame? I mean, it's her first time in Paris, isn't it? I don't think churches are really her thing. How about taking her on a boat trip? Brilliant. And then we can go up the Eiffel Tower. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll love the view. And she might fall off. Thanks for your help, Ben. Shall we have lunch after that? Let's go somewhere really nice. Do you have any recommendations, Ben? What about La Renaissance? Is Jacques' favorite? That sounds perfect. Uh, Ben, do you want to come too? Sorry, Ali. I'm really busy. But I'm sure you'll have an unforgettable meal. So, Scarlett, what would you like? Nothing. Aren't you hungry? Sure, but this food's really horrible. This is one of the finest restaurants in Paris. Well, I can't eat this stuff. I never touch meat. The seafood looks good. Hey, fish have feelings too. What about the mushroom risotto? Mushrooms? No way. Didn't they tell you guys about my allergies? <laughs> 
I'm allergic to mushrooms, strawberries, nuts. Shall we go someplace else? Whatever. I'm going to the restroom. Well, that was a disastrous morning. The boat trip made her feel sick and she wouldn't go up the Eiffel Tower. I can't stand heights. It's a pity we didn't just take her shopping. She's so spoiled. Oh, come on. She's just a kid, really. So, what are we going to do about lunch? Shall we leave now? No, hang on. I have an idea. Let me talk to the waiter. Monsieur, <clears throat> do you think you could possibly do me a favor? Yes, of course so. What would you like? Well, I think this place is great. Mm. More wine, Ali? No, thanks. Mademoiselle. What's this? It's your lunch, Scarlet. But I didn't order anything. Hey. Pizza margarita. Cool. That was a great concert last night, Scarlett. Thanks. As we know, Scarlett's got a new CD coming out soon, so let's have a look at the best way we can promote it in France. Okay. Well, I think Scarlett should visit the major music stores. In my opinion, that's the best way to meet her fans. I'm not so sure. What do you think, Jacques? Actually, I don't agree with Marc. Scarlett isn't commercial in that way. Scarlett. Scarlett. I agree with Jacques. I don't have a commercial image. It isn't my style. Okay, but Scarlett needs more publicity. What about a series of TV and radio interviews? Don't you agree? Yes, but that's what everybody does. What we want is something different. Personally, I think Scarlett should tour clubs and summer festivals. She can DJ, play her favorite music, play the new CD, and meet her fans, too. Yes, absolutely. That's a much better idea. Mark. Okay, why not? Scarlett? I think... That's a great idea. <sighs> Thank you, Jacques. It's great to be on our own again. Yeah? Is this the first time you've been to the Louvre? Uh-huh. What's the matter? Is this about the meeting? Because I agreed with Jacques and not with you. Yeah, well, we knew it wouldn't be easy. Working together, I mean. Oh, it's difficult for me as well. But if I don't agree with you... I know, I know. You're the boss. And I have to do my job. I really thought that Jacques' idea was better, and so did Scarlett. It's not a big deal, Allie. I'm fine, really. So who exactly was the Mona Lisa? I'm not sure. I think she was the wife of a banker. Is that why she's smiling? Because her husband has a good salary. <gasps> I also read somewhere that she was a self-portrait of Leonardo. A self-portrait? You're kidding. Now, I don't know much about art, but Leonardo da Vinci was a man, right? Well, it's just a theory. Why do you think she's smiling? Well, in my opinion, She's the managing director of a music company. <laughs> what? She lives in Paris, she's in love with her marketing director, and she has a lot of fun telling him what to do. That's really unfair. Hey, we're not in the office now. You can't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Let's get a coffee. Good idea. Don't turn around. What is it? I've just seen Ben from the office. Where? I said, don't look. I don't think he's seen us. Let's get out of here. Come on. Hi. Hi. Hello. Did you have a nice weekend? Oh, yeah. You'll never guess who I saw on Saturday. Who? Ali and Mark in the Louvre together. Really? You're joking. It was definitely them. And they looked really close. I think they were holding hands. No, I don't believe it. It's true, I'm telling you. And I think they saw me because they turned and left really quickly. Oh. Are you serious? 
You know, I'm not surprised. I think they've been seeing each other ever since Mark arrived. Or maybe even before. That's incredible. What makes you say that? When I went to look at Mark's new apartment, I'm sure Ali called him on his mobile. And I've seen her looking at him in a certain way. Hey, quiet, everyone. It's Mark. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. morning. Dear all, please find attached a copy of the latest sales report from the USA. Mark. So, did you guys have a good weekend? Yes, fine. Not bad. Very quiet. What about you, Mark? Oh, I spent most of the time at home, just being domestic, you know. The apartment's looking pretty nice now. You must come around for a meal one evening. That would be very nice. So didn't you go out at all? Oh, sure. I went to the Louvre on Saturday. I felt like getting a bit of culture. On your own? Yeah. I kind of prefer going to museums and galleries on my own. You can look at everything at your own pace. That's funny. I went to the Louvre on Saturday, too. Really? I, I, I didn't see you. Well, it's a big place. I didn't see you either. I've just had an email from Ali. So have I. Me too. Dear Mark, thank you for the information and thank you, darling, for a wonderful weekend, Ali. Mark Ryder. Mark, can you come in? Sure. Thanks for the sales report. I think there's something more important to talk about right now. What do you mean? That message you sent me? You hit reply to all. You sent it to everyone in the office. Oh, no, you're joking. Oh, Mark, I'm so sorry. I did it without thinking. It's all right, Allie. It's an easy mistake to make. How could I be so stupid? I just wasn't concentrating. Allie. I'm really sorry. Don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. But I think we should talk to the others. Yes, you're right. I'll do it. It was my fault. Listen, everybody. I just want to say that I'm terribly sorry I haven't been honest with you. Um, we, Mark and I, well, that's okay, Ali. We had already guessed. It wasn't really a surprise. <gasps> I still can't work out how they knew about us. I was always really careful not to treat you differently. But you were really hard on me. Mark, I wasn't. Oh, you were just being fair and very British. So if it wasn't me, it must have been you. What? I've got my own office. You're with them all the time. You must have said something. You're hopeless at keeping secrets. Don't blame me. This wasn't my fault. They probably just guess. How? You know the French. They're experts on love affairs. Maybe. Actually, I think it's great that everyone knows. Now we don't have to pretend anymore. Yeah, that's true. Allie, there's something I've been wanting to ask you for a long time. I just haven't said anything. But it's now or never. Allie, will you marry me? I'm sorry, Mark, I didn't hear a word you said. <laughs> I said, will you marry me? Yes, I will. Was that a yes? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Can you confirm that in an email for me? Just don't send it to everyone in the office this time. Number one, I am a student. I, subject, am, be, a student. 
Now, okay. I am a student. I am a student. Number two, I'm. I'm the short form of I am. I'm an English teacher. Me, I'm an English teacher. Teacher is the noun. English, okay. Before the noun, we can add an adjective or maybe a noun to form a noun phrase. So, an English teacher is a noun phrase. An English English teacher. An English teacher. I'm an English teacher. Remember, a student, but an English teacher. Why? A uh, and is usually used for a singular noun. Student, teacher, singular. That means one. But a uh, usually used before a word that begins with a consonant, a consonant sound. And an before a word beginning with a vowel sound, e. So, a student, an English teacher. But if I don't use English, I can say I'm a teacher. Okay. But when you use English, you have to say I'm an English teacher. For number three and number four, he. Remember, he goes with is, right? He is a doctor. Doctor. He is a doctor. We can link them together. He is a doctor. Now, number four. He. He's short form of he is, right? He's my dad. He's my dad or my father. Number five and number six. She is a good woman. Woman is the noun. Good is the adjective. A good woman is a noun phrase. A good woman. She is. We can link them together. She is a good woman. Remember, woman, woman. She is a good woman. Number six. She. She's short form of she is. Right. She's my brother's girlfriend. That means the girlfriend of my brother. My brother's girlfriend. My brother's girlfriend is also a noun. Okay, my brother's thus. My brother's girlfriend. She's my brother's girlfriend. Number seven and number eight. It. Remember it with is. It is her book, or you can say, or you can link them together. It is, it is her book. Number eight. It is the short form of it is, right? It's an umbrella. It's an, it's an umbrella. Remember, so here, um. The the vowel sound, so we have to use an, huh? It's an umbrella. It's an umbrella. Umbrella. It's an umbrella. Umbrella. You know, uh, when you, uh, when you go out, it's raining or it's sunny. You have to use an umbrella. It's an umbrella. Uh, nine and ten. My son, my son. Okay, one person. So a singular noun, one, right? So we have to use with is. My son is an intelligent boy. Boy is the noun. Intelligent is an adjective. Okay, so an intelligent boy is a noun phrase. An intelligent boy. My son is an. You can link them together. Isn't my son is an intelligent boy. For number ten, this, this or this one or maybe、uh, this table. Ah,、uh, when I say this, we all know ah、uh, this in this situation means maybe this table, ah、uh, this chair. But you know what I mean. So this is also a subject. This. 
this is one right we have to use with is and we can link them together this is the sis remember th the this is this is our new car so car is the now before and now we use new is an ad sorry an adjective our new car is the now phrase so here subject be now this is our new car this is our new car for play we have how often do you play sport how often how this is am a word ends with u and then the second word begins with a vowel sound this is a uh, and then we can link them with w how often how often how often do you play sport sport how often do you play sport for please please formal word polite word may i have your name please may i have your name please may i if you want to request somebody or require somebody to do something for you in a formal and polite ways you should use may i or could i may i have your name please that means what's your name please um may i have your name please usually if you are a receptionist of a hotel or a restaurant and when you want to ask your customer's name you should you use this one may i have your name please for plenty my sister has plenty of dresses plenty of that means a lot of uh, i can say my sister has a lot of dresses dresses remember sis dresses a lot of and then the verb uh, sorry the now needs to be in a plural form not dress dresses okay plenty of dresses my sis remember s here my sister has plenty of dresses my sister has plenty plenty of dresses now places oh sorry place which remember ch at the end which which places which places have you you can link them together have you visited which places have you visited place here that means you know a position or an area which places have you visited for plastic put this plastic chair in the kitchen plastic chair that means the chair is made of plastic put this this put this plastic chair in the kitchen put this plastic put this plastic chair in the kitchen explain can you explain how it works how here ah, ooh, ow, how and with u and then the next word begin with a vowel sound so you link them with word how it can you explain how it works can you explain how it works that mean can you show me can you help me to understand how it works it here can be maybe a particular things uh, a particular thing like um, maybe a mobile phone a kind of machine things like that okay can you show me how it works simply simply here i use means absolutely or totally your answer you can link them together huh your answer your answer is your answer is your answer is two s we just say one s your answer is simply wrong your answer is simply wrong that means your answer is totally wrong absolutely wrong uh, for employer she's an excellent employer she's an excellent employer that means she's an excellent boss she's an excellent that means very good uh, now for completed he has successfully completed his mission he has to s to say one he has successfully completed his mission mission is 
um, how do I say, mission is a very important responsibility that you have to do mission. He has successfully completed his mission. That means he has um, finished his responsibility, his important responsibility successfully. For application, we received your application a week ago. App received D and Y together, you can pronounce as J. So we received your we received your application a week ago. You can say going to it is still okay, but for the native speakers, they prefer using gonna. In so instead of saying going to, it's quite slowly, right? You can say gonna, gonna, very quick, right? Gonna, going to, gonna, much quicker. Now we will study about an example here. Be, Uh, communication between A and B. Now, A, what are you gonna do this weekend? What are you gonna do this weekend? Okay, we will learn how to speak this one quickly. Weekend, weekend, this weekend, this weekend, this, this weekend, Gonna, gonna do, gonna do this weekend, gonna do this weekend. Are you? You can say, aya, aya. What? Okay. If two words that are next to each other, the first word ends with a consonant letter, and the second word begins. With a vowel letter like this, we can link them together. Water. You can say water, but T that is not stressed. You can pronounce as the soft the. Okay, the the water. What are you? You can say what are you? What are you? What the you? What are you? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do this weekend? Do this weekend. What are you gonna do this weekend?